All right, here's a tip you can have, uh, you can do on your distributors. Assuming you don't have a show car, you got a driver, and uh, it'll make it much easier if there's a problem on the road. Now these, both these distributors I have here has the modern condenser and points, but this works either way. And the, uh, it does have a dummy, dummy in it. But if you can take a screw and contact that lower plate in there and fasten that screw to it, and if the screw comes out, you can troubleshoot your car if there's a problem by simply hooking a, a jumper with the alligator clip on it from here to the passenger side of the coil and that bypasses your switch and everything and that will um, should make it start and the way you do this is pretty simple just find a screw that fits the condenser and uh, if you have a, a, a standard condenser then double nut this so when you put it in your uh, distributor you can simply just take this and it's a lot easier to get into anyway. Even if you don't use this as a troubleshooting device or method, it's much easier to change the distributor on the road if you've got a nice long screw that comes out, double nutted, goes right in. You don't have to fiddle with uh, any special tool to get that screw in. Recently it kind of ate us up but trying to change a condenser on a car. Nobody had any a little tool to hold the screw and uh, it took forever to get that in. But anyway, the way you do it, the way I've done this one, get a nut that fits it. Then I have another nut and I'll put that in a driver and you just go in there and Tighten her down. And now that, I have an ohmmeter here, but I don't think you can see it. But this does not communicate with ground. This communicates with the lower plate that communicates with the movable point arm. And uh, if we open up the points there now, we should get no communication between this and ground. And you can't see it, but we, we don't. Then if you close the points, then you do. So with that in your distributor, you ought to put them in all of your distributors. If you get into a problem, you simply connect this to the passenger side of the coil and you can, if you can get this guy out, just take him out and not use him. And the way you turn your key on is a jumper from here to the passenger side of the coil. And that will operate your car and work quite good. Now, now the same thing works with this thing that a lot of us have. Um, the screw-in part here with an alligator clip on the other side. And that just, uh, that goes to the passenger side of the coil and that bypasses your switch. And I'm doing the same thing by connecting this to the lower plate and going to the um, passenger side of the coil. So in summary, you need a screw that fits your condenser and a couple of nuts if you, if you want to, if you have the standard distributor, standard uh, condenser in there. You just double nut this and then screw that in, use that in place of the other screw and you've got your access to the lower plate which is the same as the movable arm on the points. If you have a modern one like this is, you simply do it as I showed you. You have two nuts uh, and you just lock that in place and now this is going to be uh, the same thing. That communicates with the um, movable arm. 
and what you need is just the screw and a couple of nuts for each distributor. Build them up, keep them in your car. If somebody has a problem, they have to change the distributor. If you have an extra screw and a couple of nuts, it's much easier to change it. And that's what I intend to do. I'm going to get me a bunch of these and just keep them in my, in my car and in my toolbox. Hope this helps some of you. I have those cars. They love to be driven and they run so much better the more you drive them. Good luck.